Hello and welcome. Today's video will be the first part of a two-part series on how to generate a multi-part document via Documents Core Pack one-click action. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and hit that like button to get the latest how-tos, updates, and new features for all of our products. But yeah, so, so Documents Core Pack is typically used to generate a single document from a single template for anything from quotes, invoices, email content, reports, and, and much more. However, our, doc our multi-part document functionality allows you to generate a single document from multiple elements. This includes um, dynamic templates, static documents from notes, uh, or even static documents from SharePoint. You can all bring those, bring those all in to a single document. This helps save time when creating proposals, document packages, contracts, and much more. In my example today, I'll be showing how you can leverage Documents Core Pack to easily generate and send an employee onboarding package via one-click action. But yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get started here. Um, so first things first, I'm going to open up my Dynamics instance, which is going to be the sales hub of Dynamics. Um, but if you're in the service hub or a custom model-driven app, it's all the same functionality and it works on custom entities or out of the box. Um, so, so what I've done here is I've created my one-click action and all of my templates are based off of the contact because I figure if you're going to onboard an employee, they were pro most likely previously a contact record. So what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and open up my contacts. And then lucky enough, I've got my own contact there for Bailey Moss. So I'll go ahead and open that contact record up. And one field I want to make a note of here is a custom field I added just to show some of the functionality, which is contractor. So remember this that I have set contractor equals yes. So I'm assuming that Bailey Moss um, or me is a contractor. So in this case, I'll go ahead and I want to generate an employee onboarding package for them. So I'll go ahead and go to um, create document here, which is our button. And then from here, I've got my one click action that I've created for this employee onboarding package. So I'll go ahead and select that. And then from there, I'm immediately shown um, the templates and documents that I've selected for this one click action. So, so as you can see here, I've got my quick contact sheet that's predefined and will always be included. This is a dynamic template. And then next, I have an optional document, which is the background check, and that's also a dynamic template. So I want to go ahead and add that. And then, find, and then after that, I've got package type. So this gives me two options to select from, and it's optional. So do I want to send them an employment application or a new hire form? In this case, I want to actually send the new hire form, and I do want to include it. And then finally, we have the tax form, and this is conditional. So based off of that field that I showed previously, contractor equals yes, it'll bring in a W-9. If not, it would bring in a W-4 or an I-9. So in this case, I want it to bring in the W-9, and it's always included just based on that condition. So yeah, once you've decided on what documents you want to include, you go ahead and hit Next. And then it's, it's going to generate the document. And what this is doing is it's pulling in all of those documents that you've defined, into a single PDF, um, attaching it to an email, and filling out the email content with an additional Documents Core Pack template that I've defined. So you can also use Documents Core Pack for email content. A fair warning, this can take slightly longer as um, it is bringing in and merging multiple documents as well as bringing in files from SharePoint. But you can see here, it's, um, it's created my email. It's defined the from and to as, I've, um, as I set up in the one-click action. It's defined the subject. And this can also be set dynamically, but I just set it statically. It set the email content dynamically. And then finally, it's set that employee onboarding package attached. So I'll go ahead and open that up and show you what that looks like. And so yeah, it's, it's included everything I selected. So here's that employee quick contact sheet, dynamic, bringing in some simple information. Um, here's that consent to background and reference check, also including some dynamic information. And then we get into our static documents, which is the employee record sheet, um, and then finally, that W9 with instructions. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Part two of this video will go over how to create this one-click action and will be released at the same time, so you can go ahead and watch that next if you'd like. Um, but my contact information along with a link to our website can be f and free trial information can be found in the description below. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out, and thank you for watching.